Okay, okay. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. So, Logan. Logan. We saw this, like, last, maybe uh, last week, but forgot to bring the camera or something. Yeah, we forgot the camera, and we meant to record sooner. Yeah. But it's been a while. But so. this movie was amazing. This movie was fantastic. So we had to review it. I actually felt emotion in this film Same, compared bro. to uh, some of the other superhero films I watched. I don't think I've ever felt actual emotion from a swell dude. For I don't know, man. These superhero movies are just corny as ever to me. You know, they <laughs> just kind of go through the tropes. You know, like it's this like even the origin and all of that. But you know, with Logan, we the origin was already established and all of that. Yeah, with the classic X Men Origins Wolverine, the best movie of all time. <laughs> Watch it, kids. I saw that in theaters, and it was a tragic day. But this is probably the best superhero movie I've ever seen in general. Like, in general. The the most emotional superhero movie. Like, this movie... I mean, this movie was violent. Like, they went all the way. Like, you know how usually in um superhero films, it's this disconnect because the villains aren't real villains like the villains are like meow but i don't kill the kids the kids somehow always survive the pg-13 yeah people might be mildly injured but they are not dead yeah they are not dead or like or like they get like um they get killed off screen or something but yeah like they might get stabbed but they don't show any of the uh actual violence taking place but this literally these villains are murdering like Kids will just get killed on screen, and you, you're like, okay. You actually see Wolverine use his claws, and accurately, like, you would see, like, Wolverine, blood, blood people like, getting decapitated. And so, and then when you go back and watch the other X-Men movies, you're like, it's weird how little blood there is. Well, Wolverine is stabbing people. There'll be, like, a stab, and the guy falls, and then there's no blood. Yeah. I'm like, no, in this one, if he slashes you, literally... There's like a gash, like. But basically, and the premise of this story was like, um, Wolverine is old, and he's he's really he's he's injured, he's sick. We don't really know the exact reason why. They don't specify. It just has something to do with adamantium poisoning, and like, I mean, but that's not really important to the story. It's not really important. To, the The story is is that you know he comes across a Spanish woman who. Uh, ask him to look over look after this girl but then he refuses then eventually uh a whole you know this guy comes in asking about you know this girl that he have found and eventually you know they talk and all of this and then it's a chase that goes on you know I mean we don't need to break down the movie scene for pretty scene. much basically i don't want to spoil this movie for you cuz this movie like, dude, go see this movie, first off. It has all the aspects that you would want from a Wolverine film. Uh, it's got the action. The it's action. The, like, you know, Wolverine doing funny stuff. Like Wolverine struggling with his, coping with his... With his life of His trauma. immunity and all of this. And, you know, trying to, you know, right his wrongs and all yeah. of that. He's lived this traumatic life, you know. And, like, he's old in this movie, so... It really shows in this film what you know the trauma yeah and all the like literally he is like he's just lived so long and he's just so tired of having to kill people but basically that's the story is wolverine is old he doesn't heal as fast as he used to like if he gets shot like in the other movies if he got shot in the head it would just fall out right in like a minute but in this movie if he gets shot it'll take like the entire day for him to heal fully claws come out like, he has to keep bandaging his hands because his hands don't heal like like they used to. You know, all of this, you say, it's just, you know, let's, let's go to the characters themselves. So you got, I mean, you got Wolverine. You know Wolverine. We've just... seen the past movies of Wolverine. He's basically Wolverine. Just imagine that he's more old and depressed, okay? Yeah. And then you got, um, you got Professor X, who in this movie, he's the same Professor X. He's just got dementia and he's kind of crazy. And... And then you got the little girl who's like, who's basically a little mini Wolverine. Imagine a young Wolverine that heals instantly and is quick. And like, she's, I think she's even de- more deadly than, than old man Loki in this movie. Pretty much. <laughs> like old With man Loki is slices. behind. Okay. 
Dude, that was freaking me out because she's short, so a lot of her slices were to the legs. And that was freaking me out because I thought she was going to slice some crotches up. And I was, we were just cringing that whole movie. But in a good way because it was amazing. The good kind of cringe. You got this weird albino guy who, like, if, he's, if the sunlight touches his skin, he'll burn. And, uh, and his, his, his power is he can, like, track other mutants down or something. Yeah. He was actually in uh, another film. And the under, other X Men film, which was Apocalypse, and uh, that was never saw it. Mm. Don't care. I will never see Apocalypse, just from what I heard of it. And then you got uh, you got the villains. You got this guy with the mechanical hand. You got, but I mean, these. It's a really good movie. And then you got all these kids. I say are, with all the actors here, they gave them their all. Yeah, you know, they gave the best role that they could. This dude, this movie is legit sad like you will leave this movie feeling like feeling like dang all 17 like, years of wolverine and like and he's lit. done yeah hello darkness my, my old, old friend. friend that's how you feel when you walk out of the theater yes bro i swear i was in this theater feeling traumatized he was just like ha you could die at a time huh or something <laughs> i don't know it's just some line or something like Whatever. And I was just like, man, this is not the time. Oh, yeah. I kept making jokes. Like, I see you over there with watery eyes. You, I've seen you do this a few times, dude. Uh, you yeah. did this once or twice. I don't know if I did that. Dude, I just you did this. Uh, I probably just was like, oh. And every time something would happen, I would just make a joke. Because I can't help. Dude, I can't help it, bro. If I see something I think is funny, I got to say it. And you're over there. There was there was plenty of things to laugh about too. I mean, honestly, we were just, I mean, we had a good time. It was enjoyable to watch. You were over there like, mm-hmm. and I was just like, <laughs> you're like you're weak, yeah. you're weak, dude. I mean, I feel okay. I I feel the motion. Don't get me wrong. I just I don't feel emotion. If that makes sense, you know, I feel emotion, but I don't feel emotion. I don't get like. Like, I could see someone get shot in the head, and I'll be like, yeah, that was intense, but, you know, life goes on. I'm going to buy some chicken later today. But and when they hit that R. Kelly, you're like, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, when that R. Kelly, when a woman loves, I'm like, the tears, bro, the tears. This movie was legit sad, and it's sad that this is the last. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, when it gets really good, this is the one legit film that I genuinely... I mean, X Men One and Two X- are amazing. X Men and One Two is great, but I was like, generally feeling something <laughs> by the end of it. Like, wow, it's, this this really was worth my worth seeing. You know? Tell me, you didn't feel something in X Men Two One when they were on the Statue of Liberty and yeah. his claws were bending? I mean, I was like, wow. <laughs> but I was like, I didn't was like, whoa. <laughs> You told me you didn't feel stuff when he was like, strike her! I thought it was amazing. I was just like, yeah, but I really genuinely felt like this was more than like a, a superhero film, you know? But that X-Men 2 ending when she sacrificed herself in the Alkali Lake, man. Eh. You soulless man. But this movie was amazing. <laughs> I'm soulless. This movie was amazing, though. Please. It's sad that this is good. I mean, I, it's fitting, though. Like, this. This is a fitting end. Like, literally, I, I, I get it's called Logan because, like, this movie isn't about Wolverine being Wolverine. It's about, like, Logan. Like, it, 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 it takes this, like, super big superhero and makes him into, like, I'm just a guy named Logan, like, <laughs> who just wants to chill. And watch Netflix. What would you rate this, though? Not rate this a 5 out of 5, bro. 7 out of 7. 10 out of 10? Yeah. This movie was perfection, bro. Same. Like, even the shots were were really good, too. Like, the, the action. The camera shots, yeah. The whole pacing was nice. Yeah. The characters, interactions like, felt real and genuine. The action scenes were really well done. It, it was sad. But you know those movies where they try really hard to be savage, like... Like there, it seems like the movies are either like, okay, we're gonna be really for the kids, or, or um, all right, we're gonna be over the top savage, and literally babies are gonna get their heads ripped off. Like, yeah, like they go to this was like, like this was perfection, just dude. enough. It wasn't like over the top gore, like they were trying hard. Yeah, it was just you know, 
It's life. That's wife. That's wife. Wife. Do you even remember what the issue is? You just trying to find where the tissue is. You can still be who you wish you is. It ain't happened yet, and that's what intuition is. Will you have back in the car, drive back to the crib, run back to 